Morning. Morning, Derek. How do you feel about the country? On a day when he'd usually be broadcasting to millions, Gary Lineker left home with little to say about a crisis that seems to escalate by the hour. The face of the BBC's football coverage still features on the billboard at their studios, but that face and those of many of his fellow pundits will be notably absent from our screens. Throughout the day, the disruption spread, staff staying away in solidarity, meaning no football focus, no final score. Saturday lunchtime on BBC One, now in a change to the schedule, it's Bargain Hunt. Coverage on the radio was also impacted. The usual live lunchtime sports programmes replaced with recorded shows. But it is a show that's a Saturday night institution, as much for the personalities and punditry as the football, that's become the battleground in a debate about free speech and impartiality. And stars like Ian Wright reinforcing their support for Lineker. I'll tell you something, if they do... BBC get rid of Gary Lineker, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm not staying there. On his own platform, he should be able to say what he wants to say. Away from the BBC, Sky pundit Gary Neville tweeted, this is all the legacy of Boris Johnson. He continues his trail of destruction even when he's not in power. Freedom of expression is, is becoming something that's increasingly uh, precious. And I don't think that just because Gary Lineker earns a lot of money uh, with, to which he's in in my opinion, entirely entitled, um, uh, should deprive him of human rights any more than a poor person should be deprived of human rights for different reasons. There has, of course, been support for the BBC's decision. Lineker himself sought the sanctuary of a Premier League match at his boyhood club, Leicester City. There's no sign, publicly at least, of either side being willing to give ground. And with the dramatic escalation in the last 24 hours and the support for Gary Lineker amongst his colleagues, if there is no way back for him, how does this end? Say it loud, say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. Gary says, say it loud. Tonight there was a demonstration of support for Lineker outside of the BBC. What began with a tweet on immigration has exploded into a nationwide debate. Just how much it matters to some... Gary Lineker, Ian Wright, we support you and your fight. Measured in the removal of one of the most familiar faces in the country from our screens. Greg Milam, Sky News, Salford.